Hey, what's up guys? This is Rich again for this edition of Learning with Rich. So for this topic, I'm going to teach you how to place an air terminal to our uh, mechanical project. Okay, so from my previous exercise, if you still remember, oh, I created a mechanical equipment, right? So we placed the mechanical equipment. So I have placed here one AHU and then two VAV. Right, so this time, let us try to place our air terminal. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to place my air terminal, so in my level 1 ceiling, alright. So I want to place that on my ceiling grid, okay, so that it will align nicely. Alright, so let's get started. So from the systems tab, so before that, let us check first what is the height of our ceiling. So to do that, from the annotate, I'm going to select here spot elevation. So it displays the elevation of a selected point. So I select this one. And then we can see that our ceiling here, the height is uh, 2,438. So that will be the height of our air terminal, the one that we are going to place here. Okay, so I can place it here if I want. So click one, two, three. Okay, so so that is our ceiling. Uh, that is the elevation of our ceiling. So from the systems tab, so I'm going to select here air terminal. So I'm going to place here uh, supply diffuser 600 by 600 phase 300 by 300 connection. Alright, and then the offset, just like what we have here. So I'm going to make it 2438. Okay, so that's the height. So there you go. So you will now be able to see your air terminal because if the offset is zero, you will not be able to see that on your ceiling plan. You can see it on your floor plan, but on your ceiling plan, you can't see that. All right. Then after that, if I want to align my air terminal to this um, angle of my ceiling, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my pointer to this ceiling grid and then I'm going to press the space bar to change the orientation. Okay, there you go. Okay, then after that, so I'll just uh, place it here. Okay, and then I select here modify. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the align command. So I use the align, so I select this one. And then after that, I'm going to uh, select this. Select the side that you want to align. Select this line. And then select this side that you want to align. There you go. Okay, then after that, I select modify to deselect the object. I'm going to copy this. Copy the air terminal uh, here. Okay. Alright. Okay, then after that, uh, I'm going to hide the arrow of my air terminal symbol here. So, I just want to make it a bit uh, tidy. So, I'm going to select the air terminal. And then from the properties here, you can see the mechanical, there's the arrows. So I'm going to uncheck these arrows. There you go. Same with this air terminal. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to place another air terminal here. So I'm just going to create similar from this air terminal. So I click this, right click, and then you can see uh, create similar. Okay. And then I'm going to place one here. Okay. And then I use the align command. So I select align. I select this line. And then the side that I want to align. Select this line. And then the side that you want to align. Okay. And then I select modify. And then I'm just going to copy this multiple times. So I select this air terminal. I'm going to copy it. Okay. And then I'm going to pick here. So, I'm going to place, wait, I'll select, copy, I select this corner, and then I place it here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to copy it multiple times. Okay. So, I picked here, copy here. So, we are going to place four more air terminals in this area. So, I'm going to pick here. I pick, pick here, and there you go. OK, 
Okay? So, these are now the air terminals in our project. So, if I want to see that in my section view, I'll just go ahead and select this section. I move the head and make sure I move also the extents. Okay? Click outside and then I just double click the section head. There you go. So, these are now my air terminals here. Okay? And then this is the equipment. Okay? In my 3D view, it looks like this. There you go. So little by little, our model will now uh, will be able to complete. So for the next exercise, we're going to create the ducting layout of our mechanical project. Okay. So that's it for this exercise, placing air terminals. And by the way, the air terminal that we are using here is not a hosted family. So meaning it is not a ceiling hosted. Okay. So it is okay if your electrical fixtures or your lighting fixtures is uh, ceiling hosted, in my opinion. But if the air terminals is ceiling hosted, I'm not preferring that one. Okay, so I prefer my air terminal as a non-hosted family. Why? Because if you are going to change the height of your ceiling, the architect changed the height of the ceiling, and then your air terminals are ceiling hosted, okay, so what will happen is our air terminal will also move if you change the height of your ceiling, and what will happen, the connections of our air terminals to our dock will get lost okay so that's the problem if your air terminal is ceiling hosted and then suddenly you move it uh, you move the ceiling so all the connection will break okay it will break all the connection once you move your your air terminals suddenly okay so that's why usually or most of the time our air terminals are non-hosted so I just I prefer them uh, floating instead of breaking the connections from the duct. Alright? Okay, so that's it for this exercise by placing our air terminal. So again, don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, just put it on the comment section below. Okay, so once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.